everyone! My name is Roslyn Rakhal. Welcome to my self-introductory video. If you want to get to know me better, please stay tuned. Most people call me Yang, but those closest to me call me A Yang, Ying, Bunso, as my mom does, and Yeba, which in our dialect means my love. I am the youngest daughter of Benito and Evelyn, who both hails from Uwas Albay from the Nipo region. Also, I have two elder sisters, namely Helen and Kelly Rose. Actually, my father named me after my whole family. I'll tell you how. Ross is derived from my second sister, whose name is Ellie Rose. He is from my elder sister's name, which is Helen. And Lynn is from my mother's name, which is Evelyn. So, Ro, She, Lynn. There you have it. I was born and raised in the province of Albay, which is a perfect tourist destination and is known for the perfect cone, Mayon Volcano. My hometown Owas is a first-class community. It is now being more popular because of the beautiful beaches in the coastal areas. I am 32 years old, single and currently based in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I've been working here as a nurse since 2015. Before we get to that, let me tell you how I got into nursing. Back then, I was actually undecided of what course to take for college. I spent a year studying BS management, then unfortunately had to stop because of health problem. During that time, my family, except for my eldest sister, would temporarily move to Saudi Arabia to be with my father, who was working here as an accountant. He was an OFW for more than 30 years. I'm supposed to continue my study here, but I had to retake all the subjects from first year, so we decided for me to go back to the Philippines. But that time, I still have no clue of what to do. And so my sister, Ate Bibi, who is a nurse, she encouraged me or decided for me to take up nursing. And I did, and I didn't regret that, but I still ended up school hopping when I get back to the Philippines, and, but eventually I graduated on 2011. I graduated from Aquinas University of Legaspi, or now known as University of Santo Tomas Legaspi. I took and passed the nurse licensure examination the same year I graduated. I was so grateful for the support of my family and even got the chance to celebrate my success with my family complete. I got my first nursing job in a primary facility in our town and was employed there for three years. Before I left, I enrolled myself in a master's program but wasn't able to finish it because I was already employed. My first job overseas was at Dr. Sulaiman Al Habib Medical Group for four years. I was assigned at CCU and Telemetry Unit. I was also designated as a quality link nurse that played a vital role in the department. After four years of working in Habib, I decided to go home. After a four-month break, I returned back to Riyadh, landing a job as CCU nurse in KSUMC or King Saud University Medical City at King Khalid University Hospital up to present. As you all know, the world faced the greatest challenge yet, the COVID-19 pandemic. As the pandemic started on 2020, the surge of cases in our hospital was overwhelming. Drastic changes in operation of the hospital affected all the nurses. I was assigned in COVID ICU to handle critically ill patients. We were not given a choice to refuse. I could still remember my first day working there. I was really scared and couldn't even swallow my food during my break. That is why I feel for all the nurses, wherever they are, the struggle of battling against an unseen enemy. But on the contrary, I considered myself 
more lucky and more safe working in COVID ICU. Knowing that we are dealing with confirmed positive cases, we are well protected with personal protective equipments or PPE such as N95 mask, surgical mask, gown, gloves, head cover, and even shoe cover. In my case, I had to use a popper machine or the powered air purifying respirator because I had trouble fitting into an N95 mask. My face that time was too small to fit into an N95 mask that was available in our hospital. That's why I had to gain weight so to make my face more puffy. Caring for patients became more challenging. Treatment was uncertain, but death was. Seeing patients deteriorate was not new to me, but seeing them die alone with no relatives able to hold them is truly heartbreaking. I couldn't help but think about my family, especially my parents back home. I wasn't able to see my sister Henriade for a long time because of lockdown and strict implementation of travel restrictions. I wanted to spare my papa and mama from worrying, so me and my sister we kept it a secret that I am looking out for ill patients. Eventually, I adjusted. I made sure I observed religiously the infection control practices, avoid attending gatherings, took care of myself like taking vitamins, enough sleep and rest, and just staying safe. So I survived. Now the pandemic situation in Saudi Arabia is better. Saudi Arabia took actions promptly by inoculating all the residents with approved vaccines, whether expat or Saudis, for free. So I am proud to say that I'm fully vaccinated and I'm a proud Pfizer baby. Travel restrictions were also eased compared to last year. Speaking of last year, 2021 was the most difficult year for my family. Last August of 2021, just a few days before my father's birthday, he passed away. He was rushed to the hospital and admitted to the ICU. And just a few hours in ICU, our greatest fear came into reality. His abdominal aortic aneurysm ruptured and he did not survive. I couldn't find any word to describe the pain that me and my family had gone through. My anxiety was too much to handle. Because of the pandemic, everything got more complicated. From the availability of flights, cancellation of flights, the mandatory quarantine in the Philippines, and the swab test result. Because that will be my very first swab. But thank God, with the support and help of our family and friends, we were able to go home and be with our father. It's been six months since he's gone, but it still feels like yesterday. Yes, I am still grieving. We are still grieving. My take on that is pray. Pray hard. Do not lose your faith. Lean on Him. God will bless you even in the most trying times of your lives. On a lighter note, being away from our families, we need to master how to overcome homesickness. Doing the things you love like our hobbies could be therapeutic. So what do I do on my free time? On my day off, I usually find myself doing home chores like doing the laundry, cooking food, video chat my parents, and chill. Me and my sister, we love to sing the karaoke during our pastime. I am also fond of photography and even bought myself a camera over here and a gimbal over there. Then I practice taking photos and videos of my friends. I am self-taught. I learned the tricks of editing photos and videos online. I made videos of some of the beautiful places here in Riyadh, so if you have time, you might want to check them out on my Facebook account. It's amazing to have friends that you consider as family. Though I have a lot of friends, there's one person I really look up to. Shout out to Ati Trina! 
I'm not really a great cook unlike my sister, but Ate Trina, she encouraged me to be confident and of course, with the help of my sister, improved my skills and used it to earn money. Yes, we sell food and I'm proud of it. My papa would be too. Now let me show you the life of a nurse. When you go out, make sure you protect yourself by wearing gloves and masks. Okay? guys for watching my video and getting to know me better. Stay safe. Bye!